Hey everyone, this is Pete Wagner for Angling Uploaded. In 2022, three buddies and I headed into one of our favorite spots in the Boundary Waters, Malberg Lake. Malberg is an exceptional place for a lot of reasons, but what has drawn us back here for the fifth time is access to great fishing. Don't get me wrong, I could hang out here for weeks without a fishing pole and never grow tired of the surroundings, but there is something special about the tug of a fish on the end of your line in the remote wilderness that's hard to explain unless you've been there and experienced it. Malberg is located centrally in the eastern BWCA and has a variety of good fishing options with great access to nearby lakes that really boost your chances throughout the seasons. Our main goal on this trip, and most trips for that matter, were the walleye, due to its abundance and great table fare. Find the eyes and generally other species will follow, even when not being targeted. This particular trip had some of the best fishing I have ever experienced anywhere. Join us as we head deep into Minnesota's wilderness to do some fishing in the BWCA. You ready to roll? Yes, sir. Black flies seem to be a concern. Got my morning Java. We've got two canoes. Liquid power. It's quite lovely here on Lutzen Mountain. The bill. Well, I've done this one a lot. It's still one of my favorite ways to go in. It's about 6.30. We get out the door, I don't know, 5.30? Always takes longer than you think to get somewhere, but we've made it. So we're gonna start pushing in. We got no wind. Temps in the 40s, feels really good right now. That was the goal. And we're gonna see how far we get. We'd love to get to Alice, but We'd be fine with Malberg. Just gonna uh, go in without a plan. See how we feel.
they're talking to each other like, so what should we have for supper tonight? Just like we are. Except we know. Ribeyes. It's a really lovely day today. Low humidity, nice breeze. Not overwhelming wind when you're paddling. And we are gonna stop at Malberg. Alice was a possible goal for us, but sounds like the portage to get to the Quishaway through there is a bit of a mess. So I'm gonna shoot for Malberg and see where we can day trip. In the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy this walk. Are you guys wolves? What do you think there, kiddo? You lead the way? being photographed. Got him. There you go. What up, y'all? Bring your big brother next time. We'll find them. That's a good sign though. We can find some on the jigs again. Yep. This guy's a little northern, but he got a full belly. Like he's got a mouse in there or some Oh shit. yeah. Kinda looks like my belly. Hanging over the belt. <laughs> you hanging over the belt, Pikey? Katie calls it a dun flop because it dun flop over. <laughs> that is a smallie. Yeah. That's a large mouth. It is. <laughs> I thought, when I saw the mouth, I was like, hey, I've never seen a large mouth this big in the Bonder Waters ever. My biggest size was like a one pounder. <laughs> Crazy. That's awesome. This is that. a rare, rare commodity. Look, he's got that spawning bed tail too. Yep. Get her all cut up. I love largemouth bass, man. Yeah, I That's do too. That's a freaking great fish. <laughs> Is that on your tiger Jeez, he just mashed that thing. That's a true snake there. He got me on this one, I think. Like a cold front bite all of a sudden. There he is. He's just barely, barely tugging on it. Were you, guys, were you guys feeling it all right? 
got a good hold. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's I got a good hold. Yeah. We were mostly watching the ants. <laughs> Classic. God, he's a poser too. He's gonna be quite the trophy when he grows up. <laughs> Look at him. He's all pizzazz. I'll need those leeches when you get a chance. See if he can beat the last one. I feel he can. It's a bass. Rock bass. <laughs> Another species. Oh, there it is. That was the elusive rock bass I was going for. I'm like, one of those got to pop it. Chuck has got the species title going on right now. What? He doesn't have a large mouth, does he? I know. Is that number four for you or five? Four. See, it's a, it's a tie, man. I'm like, stuck on two. I'm going to pick me up one of these rock bass right now. I've never been so excited. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 rock bass. Rock bass. bass. Oh, look at this. The pike. Did the pike just show up here? That first pike over here. Perfect timing. As well, the mosquito. I love bugs. Pete's eating protein. <coughs> oh, God. I call them skeeter snacks. <laughs> Ooh, speak of the devil. Mm, getting bigger over here. Got that. There's a fish. Are you uh you got one on there yet, Mac? <laughs> what are you doing up there? You got the is that green working or? God damn you. So I don't understand, like we talked to that guy and you know they didn't catch one walleye over here. But I think it's just what do you got for bait? Fish. <laughs> there he 
is. See Just what he's doing? Unfolded? Nope. Can you help me out with that? Where is it? <laughs> getting bigger, Mac. Just gotta beat 18. Radio those guys and be like, ah, oh, we're fishing here, there's really nothing going on. <laughs> 18 and a half. I believe you. Chaka won't, but that's all right. That half is a big deal. We're gonna find some big ones, Mac. I want to. Ever since I had that day here, I've dreamed of being back here when this was happening. And I believe it might be happening. I think you got me beat. I, 18 and a half just took the lead. And I think this boy is way fatter. Look at that belly. Well, that's 22. No, that's 21. 20, there? Yeah, it's 21. You pinched that, that's 22. All right. That's a 22, buddy. All right, let's say goodbye to them. Good yeah. fish. Look at how dark they are. Isn't yeah, that buddy. cool? Off he goes. You got the net? Yep. I don't know about it. Jeez. Look at that belly. Hey, fellas. Being you fell in, you're probably due for a 32, I'm thinking. All right. I think he already won it. I'd be willing to have a boat. Yeah, I'm just bringing it up like two or three inches, just like we're doing everywhere else. As soon as your line goes slack, just try and hold it off the bottom. And it seems like the school just rolls in and then it's bang, 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 and then they roll out, you know? Like right when we got here, you could tell they just were looking for food. Like you couldn't even get it to the bottom. <laughs> Mac was tying on a jig. I had six fish while he was tying. Yeah, I started tying before we wet a line. And he's like, I got a fish. <laughs> you got a fish. What is it, 21 and a half feet? Uh, is it 22? It was 22, right, Mac? Well, yeah, it was 21 with non pinching. Yeah. Look at that. Boy, Jim. Yeah, Jimmy. Got a big one? Oh, Let's give Jimmy his fish dance monster. Please tell me it's still morning. I don't know what time of the day it is. What do we got here? Fish dance, baby. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! It's like 12 or 13. All of a sudden we got a four man team. <laughs> Jeez, what is that? Are we sure that's not like a Xander? Look at the head on that. Oh my God. Yeah, his eyeball is a full size marble. Oh my god. I don't care what the length is on it. That's the biggest eye I've ever seen before. Oh, that's what a state record eye looks like. 32. That's what I'm saying, boys. Either way, that's that's a that's in the 15 range, Jimmy. All right, get him wet again. Yep. <laughs> None of us are getting a 33, I don't think. So we'll just give you whatever you want to say that is. So Jimmy, your your biggest fish ever was what three miles from here? And what was the length right in that there. one? Twenty seven. And then you just beat your biggest fish of all time by five inches. And remember, I put out 31, the dis four, I, four. I put out the disclaimer that if you tied to our boat, that we, it was like a group credit thing. You guys remember that? <laughs> yes, Jimmy. Oh my God, how you feeling, buddy? Oh, this is this is the stuff. And man. it's still morning. This I is think. why we. This is why we portaged in. Let he, me get close to this guy. This is why Chaka. Oh. All right, I want to get this thing back. All right, in the get water. it back in the water. On this side, buddy. You can do it. Yeah, just unhook that clamp. <laughs> what? She's ready to go already. Yeah, she's doing fine. <laughs> Thank you, Boundary Waters God! 
was. He got scorned the last time on Fish Dance, and everyone got a bigger one but yeah, Jimmy. Everybody laughed at they... Jimmy for five or six years more now, almost <laughs> ten years maybe. People have been laughing at Jimmy. Hey, remember when we went Fish Dance? Jimmy didn't catch a big fish. Now who's eating the <laughs> sandwich? <laughs> He's going. full days. Um, I've had two fun days. The first day was a little slower, staying home at Malberg and then the epic trip to Fish Dance, which is now turning into two epic trips to Fish Dance because we forgot our dry bag sitting by the portage, which we realized in the dark on the way home. So we just kept going. So we got two and a half hours back and hopefully nobody screws with our stuff. Um, it was storming all night. Our canoe here was chock full of water, sitting in a slant. My chair was submerged 
and uh, lots of thunder, lots of lightning. But the annoying part here is making the trip right back to fish dance and not knowing the weather today. Um, it looks like it's trying to clear up, so we're just gonna make a move. It's about seven in the morning. And yeah, so remember your pack when you're leaving your Portage kids. Stuff comes in handy. It's all my fishing gear. <laughs> After a brutal morning where Mac and me chased down our packs, started to pour, and uh, we managed to find our stuff, but uh, we were hoping to fish, and the rain was so terrible, we just decided to paddle back, got soaking wet, ate breakfast in the rain, but it's all part of the game. So we've been killing time for the afternoon, and the sun finally came out. So we are heading back out for my favorite kind of boundary waters fishing, which is lazy fishing. Got the grippers. Ooh. Look at them fight. I got them trained well with kind of the grabber. down and drink wine and see if that does something. I think that usually works. Better start getting mentally ready for the paddle home though. I'm a little bit nervous about traveling in the dark so it's gonna get over there pretty soon. <laughs> we'll be home before dark. <laughs> <laughs> if I've said it once I've said it a thousand <laughs> times. <laughs> We just have different interpretations of what dark it means. Bad though. Alright, you get the fish in there, buddy. It's an eye. There you go. Nice eye. One for 
the stringer. <laughs> Got him back. <laughs> nice work. Yeah. That is a really solid average size here today. Pound and a half. Pound and a half, two pound. Pound and a half, two pound. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Kicking shield. Taking names. Ow. Pinch my finger. That rock bite you? All right, look at that. It looks tasty, eh? You got a nice one on there, Mac. Oh, I can see the jig and the tail and they're a long ways apart. Oh, it's a pike. It is a pike. Here, we got a jig, we can net them. Jeez Louise. There's something. <laughs> what? Slab funny. There he is. Textbook. Just tiny little bites. The odds. Jeez. I'm gonna better you. Get you back in the water. Needle spin does it again. Not the net. Oh, he's right next to you if you need him. Marauder 2. Marauder 2. Just copy loud message. How many walleye should we keep Marauder 2? Three. Three is the number. And the number <laughs> shall be three. <laughs> three walleye shall be kept. Are you guys killing them? We just ate a shore lunch, but we got a 25 and a 27 and a half. And it's pretty steady of all 15s.
Well, sadly, it's the last day already. Um, we're heading back to the Quishaway River just to do some lazy sitting and jigging fishing. Walleye's been great here on Malberg too. Jimmy and Chaka had a ton of success last night. Um, but Malberg's a little weird and the river feels like a sure thing. So we're gonna go out there and hopefully tag uh, a big one, if not another two or three. It's fun to be around those big hogs. So that's the goal. We're just gonna chill out, have a shore lunch, and make the most of our final day. 50% chance of rain. We got a windy out tomorrow. It's all part of the game. Let's go see what we can do. There goes Waterman Pete filling the drinking water jug. Fish one. Nice bite. <laughs> My biggest bass, I still got a ways to go. I gotta get bigger on this one. So Pete, what's the plan for fishing after we eat lunch here? Right now it's peanut butter and banana oatmeal. And then I'm gonna go back to the rapids and try and catch a monster that is anywhere from 27 to 34 inches in the walleye world. And then a 40 inch pike, 20 pound uh, smallie. And then a sunny as big as a frying pan and a rock bass too. Any size will do. Any brick drop. Can't argue with that plan. Ross is walleye only. Oh, I thought, oh, what's the biggest fish? Is it kinky? Kinky, yep. I think Mac had that for a little bit. Species count. Well, we got the... Here, five. We got, what was our... Oh, we have a largemouth. You got the largemouth, I got the rock bass. We got largemouth, rock, small. We got rock bass. Pike walleye sunny six. Mm. Still working on that brookie. Yeah, we might catch a lot of small fish, but we're untouchable when it comes to species count. <laughs> I caught me a darter. <laughs> great fish count? <laughs> yeah, great fish are good. Tell fish are accepted. Sturgeon, big brookie, yeah, eight inch brookie. It's a coaster. He sure has got a lot of runs in him, eh? We kept thinking there was a huge pike in here because we were getting nice sizes, and they were all those sunnies. You know what that usually means. 
realize your jigs in my face. Pike? Whoa! I'm going to say that's a no. How did you have him hooked? Could you see? It looks like it's kind of on top, huh? It's a... <laughs> that's the fun of it, Chucks. This is, this is the second shot you've had of this probably ain't going to fit in the net. <laughs> you made it work once, so. <laughs> yeah! Look at this guy! I got nice net man. job there, man. Yeah. See the bend on the bend on the net. Oh. Yeah. Thirty-five. Nice. Can you hold him sideways. Mm -hmm. Look at this hey, guy. Hey, hey, hey. Timmy is throwing Timmy, his way still. Timmy's my guy, brother. All right, Timmy. Uh, how about spreading this around a bit? Thanks, buddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's right underneath your boat, I can get him again. If he flips our boat, I'm going to be ticked. <laughs> <laughs> water wolf. Thanks for spraying water in my face. <laughs> Got kind of a weird hook set, I think. No, no I don't. It's pretty good. Ain't bad. Water wolf. My red tail. Ooh. All right. This is exactly what I was hoping not to do with. All right, Water Wolf. Back to whence he came. You know what my favorite part of Pike is? The release? The, everything over here smells now. For yeah. The, rest of the day. Very fishy. Everything smells terrible. And my hands feel weird. And slimy. And I almost got hurt. It's over, boys. Last day out, always so brutal. 
a great trip back to good old Malberg. I think it's our fifth trip in. I think the uh, permits being reduced made a big difference. I'm enjoying the lake in there. Fishing was incredible. Jimmy sticks with the Rasta hat with a 31. Biggest fish of his life. He beat his biggest fish of his life <clears throat> from last year by four inches. And I think Jimmy also got biggest overall with a 35 pike. And it looks like we're gonna be battling a 35 mile an hour gust today on the way out. So we get out early, hoping for the best, but thank you for tuning in. Let's protect the boundary waters, give it some love, and uh, maybe we'll see you out on the lake. Got injured. Jimmy and Chaka made it too. We made it, boys. <laughs>